old time magic shop. This is opening day and it's gonna be so much fun. Come on, let's go. Guys, this store is so cool. I can't wait to see all different types of magic. Now we're gonna see some amazing magic from this guy named Jesse. Ready? Perfect. Which means that coming close, guys. Is this the microphone? Yes. Perfect, Matthias. If you ever see a magician, you might have heard that our magician's assistant, you know, like yeah. a helper in the magic. I actually have an assistant as well. So I'll do it with a coin. Look, all I do is I place the coin there. Watch. My assistant will come out and grab the coin. These are really well made. I can't. I can't figure this out. I've got my, uh, mm -hmm. my Sharpie Whoa. Good? Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Side. Here, I'll and show you guys one more. I'm playing a card, man. No dot there. But then, check it out. Check it out. And you spin it and it changes and it'll come right back. It's the same thing. It's, it's the same move I just taught you. Wow. Doing nice. With, um, this place is so awesome. This is a place for magicians to perform their magic. Tell your mom and dad to come here. It's very cool. It's magic time! Yeah! Is everybody having the time of their lives so far? Yeah. Yeah. Yay! One person is. Right. So we'll start with the fun stuff and then work our way up. How does that sound? Here's what's going to happen. The pen will disappear and then reappear. All right? Don't look that close. I'm not that good. Now, first the cap. If I squeeze the cap of the pen, cap disappears, right? It doesn't go far though, it goes from here over to here. <laughs> That's probably a little too quick though. I'll slow it down just a little bit. Watch this. I squeeze the cap. Did you see it vanish? That's good. It hasn't happened yet. I didn't do the secret move yet, right? All I do is wave and it really does disappear. Not up the sleeve, not in the pocket, not over here. It's actually behind my knee. It's, it's a kneecap. <laughs> you grow, but you'll use it. <laughs> now we'll try from this side. Watch the cap. If I tap it like that, it's the, uh... oh, now it's the pen. Where did the pen go? The pen disappeared. I can't find the, the pen's gone. What happened? It's in your ear. It's on oh, your ear. Oh, I just did this when you weren't looking. Here, we'll try this again. Wait, now the cap is gone. What happened to the pen cap? I can't find the cap. It vanished. Gone forever. What's funny? Oh, in the ear, right? And let's recap. Boom. Yay. All right. Are you a card player there, Matthias? No. Oh, that's good. Me neither. Let's try something here. Pretty well mixed, yeah? All different, yeah. all mixed? This isn't one of those seven golly decks, right? Pretty well mixed. I'm gonna run my thumb through the cards like this. Go ahead and say stop anytime you like. Here we go. Stop! There? Okay. Yes. Go ahead and take a peek. Don't show me, but show the crowd. I won't look. Remember the number and the suit? Okay. Is it a good one? Yes. More or less? Okay, good. Place it anywhere you like there, buddy. Yeah, we'll lose it into the middle there somewhere, so it's lost. And I'm going to try to find it with a little magic. Are you ready? Here we go. Concentrate on your card. One card flies out of the deck. Nine of diamonds. Thank you very much. Thank you. That isn't my card. <laughs> well, you don't need that card anyway. <laughs> Uh, can you hold out your hand for me, palm up, please? I'll place that right there. Put your other hand on top, just to make sure there's no funny business going on. I'm going to try to read your mind. How does that sound? Good. Good. Send me your thoughts. Perfect. It was a black card. Yes. Oh, good. 50-50 shot there. Spade? Yes. Oh, good. Puppy paws. Clubs? Clovers? Clovers. Clovers? Yeah? I knew it! <laughs> Wait, what was your card? 
Wait. <laughs> Two of clubs, is that right? Yeah. Yay! <laughs> but what's weird is if I wave it over the pieces of the card like this, it changes back into that nine, right? But if that just happened, check out the pieces. What do we got? Show the crowd. Do we have a winner? Oh, wow. OMG. That was your card, right? The two of, I still can't figure this stuff out. It just happens. <laughs> there you go, buddy. You can try this too. Stand right over here, face the crowd, big smile. Nice. Hold out your hand again, palm up. Squeeze the pieces, squeeze tight. And say the magic words. Who knows the magic words? Perfect. Check it out. What happened? Show the crowd what we got. Oh, oh my god! Whoa. And the best part is that's a free souvenir for you. There you go. You can keep it forever and ever. Go bring you good luck. Thank Big you. Hand. Tell me how it works now. <laughs> so I've got a uh, cup and i got a ball. Now, normally people play this game with three cups and a ball. But uh, you know, like, if they mix them around, you got to figure out which cup the ball is under. So uh, what cup is the ball under? This one. Yeah, that one is just the one cup, right? So yeah, that, that makes this a lot a lot easier for you to win, right? If I only yeah. one. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have another place. I'm going to either hide it under the cup or I'll hide the ball over here in my pocket. Those are the two places that I'll have it. That makes sense? Yes. Okay, so if I take the ball out of my pocket, place it over here in, uh, into the cup, we can start over. I'll take the ball, place it into my pocket like that, and now all you have to do is decide whether I've actually left it in my pocket or I've somehow snuck it back under the cup. What do you think? Under the cup. Under the cup. Everybody says under the cup the first time, uh, and uh, I always let them win the first time, except I don't let you win. <laughs> <laughs> snap my fingers like that and get the ball back under the cup. So uh, one more time, uh, I'll show you that again. We'll put the ball into the cup. We'll take the, I can take the ball out and I can place it over here in my pocket, oops, over in my pocket like that. And then uh, all you gotta do is you lift it up and you drop the ball. See? Yes. So I'll put the ball in there. You can watch it come out. I'm gonna put it over here in my pocket again, just like that. Hands completely empty. The ball will actually dematerialize from my pocket and it rematerializes under the cup because I have a little wormhole in there that does all the work. Does that make sense? Yes. We'll do, uh, I'll take the ball one more time. I'm gonna place it into my pocket. You're gonna see it go. And now, I, uh, we're going to do something a little bit different. I snap my fingers. I call this one the lime trick, and this is why. All you have to do is it uses a lime. Now, uh, do you, you like the lime trick? It's my favorite trick. Everybody, usually people ask me to see the trick again. I'm not supposed to do this, but for you, I'll do it. We'll do okay. it a second time. One more right there. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Uh, and would you, uh, would you help me? I have to do this trick again for the next group. Can you put that back inside there? Just get them both just all the way in there, and then I'll... Uh, I think the battery might have died. That's why it's not bigger on the inside anymore. Good oh. job. Thank you. Help me out. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. You want to help me? Yeah. Okay, come right over here. Cool. Then, and your name is Mateo, right? Everybody say hello. What? Matias. Matias. Say Matias. Matias. Yeah. Matias, have you ever done magic? No. No. This is your lucky day. There are lots of things that all of us have not done. There is nothing that any of you cannot learn to do. Mateo, you see those orange scissors? Yes. Grab those scissors. He's never done magic before. Watch this and... Uh, Remember, don't tell anyone how this works. You take the scissors, and we're going to cut it into two equal pieces. Right over there, just like that. Excellent. Once you get the rope cut into two equal pieces, all we, all, all we, we, okay, those, this is known as a boo-boo. <laughs> you know what? We can fix this. All we got to do is take the long piece, cut it next to the short piece. Cut right there, buddy. There we go, Matias. There we go. Excellent. I'll get rid of the knot. Now, once you do that, all we got to wait is that, uh oh <laughs> The, okay, see how these look? I was hoping it would look that way on this side. <laughs> okay, you know what? Take them all these cut right over there. There we go. Excellent. There, I will pick those up later. Once you get the... Oh, my Jesus. Okay, you know what? Sometimes when things don't work out, you don't get angry. You don't get upset. You just take a deep breath and start from the beginning. Wow. Wow. Now, if you always do the same thing, you will always get the same result. We don't want the same result. So this is what we're going to do. We'll go straight to the center. Put those scissors here. Cut them right in the center. Whoa. He did it! Give him a big round of applause! Set those scissors down. Perfect. Look at this. Matthias, we have two equal pieces of rope. How do we put these back together? We tie them, right? Yes. Yes. We're going to do this. And if you remember, 
we tie them with a great big bow, but my bones are not very good. They don't look good. <laughs> but we have to get rid of the bow, so what we do is we blow them off, right? Yeah. Blow it off! Oh. One more time, blow it off! Oh. Okay, you know what? You know what? Matthias forgot to say the magic. That's right, the magic words. Please, say please. Please. And blow. No. Oh. <laughs> okay, you said you had never done magic before, right? Yes. Still hasn't. No. <laughs> <laughs> we can fix that. You know what you need? You need a magic wand. Did you bring one? No. <laughs> Luckily, I have one you can borrow. I have it right over here. You stand right here in the front and center so everybody can see you. We'll take the magic wand, hold on to the wand. Now, when you hold on to the wand, you want to hold on to the center, yeah, because <laughs> if you hold on to the end, you can accidentally do magic before you are ready. One day, somebody held the wand in the wrong place and turned children into rabbits. Yes. And <laughs> the adults into kangaroos. <laughs> They're, ah! Well, that's the first time that happened again. <laughs> Uh, maybe put that in your other hand. Perfect. Hold on to the blue one with that hand. Yeah. Uh, I have an idea. Hold your hands apart. Face your audience so they can see you. We'll take the red one from here and we'll put it under here. Put your arm down. Put the blue one in this hand. Excellent. Hold on to the yellow one. There we go. What are you doing? <laughs> I have an idea. We'll take this blue one. We'll put it under this arm. Put the yellow one in that hand. Excellent. There you go. Matthias! <laughs> I have an idea. We'll take the other one. Look at the ceiling. Look at your toes. Perfect. <laughs> Green one in your left hand. Hold on to the white one. Say the magic words. Please. Tap the wand on the left. And blow. Oh, bummer. <laughs> oh, I have an idea. You know what? Here, I'll take these and hold on to the tip right there. That's okay. And just pull. He did it! It's back together! I'll take this and this and that. You take a bow. Give Matthias a big round. Woo! Wow. Guys, now we're in, now we're gonna have an interview with the owner of the store. So we actually did a soft opening yesterday, uh, today is the grand opening, so we'll start our regular hours tomorrow, uh, which is 11 to 3, starting next weekend it's going to be Friday, Saturday is 11 to 6, and then Sunday is 11 to 3, so we're only open Friday, Saturdays, and Sundays for right now. Okay. Why did you choose to I've um, always liked magic. Uh, I've been doing magic for about four or five years, and there hasn't been any big magic shops around St. Louis in a while. And there's a, uh, as you can see here today, there's a lot of magicians here in St. Louis, and we've always been wanting to do something. And I own two other stores here in the plaza, so I just figured I'd, you know, a good spot to open up a shop. So it seems to be working out pretty well. Kids come here. What do you think they would be most attracted to? Um, I think a lot of the, the little tricks uh, and just getting into magic. Uh, we have all sorts of stuff that will actually get kids interested in. Anything from the basics, uh, where it's just opening up a trick and learning how to do it, to, you know, Card tricks to you know we have stuff geared just to kids and then we're we're actually going to start having classes here for kids to, uh, to where they can actually learn what to do as far as um, you know how to get into magic how to how to approach people how to get past their comfort level level of doing different tricks for people so we'll teach kids and adults you know because there's a lot of adults that are wanting to start getting into magic too so uh, we're going to teach people how to do that. Did you think it would be this much of a success today? Um, for today, no. I, I knew that we'd have a good crowd, but it's it's been a really good day so far. So I'm I'm really happy for the uh, community to come out and all the magicians to come out and support. Well, so, thank you for your time. Yeah, no problem. Thank you. Woo! Did I scare you? Well, that's it for today's video, guys. Make sure to like, subscribe, and check out here and down below in the description to see the address of this place. And remember, Matthias was here. Goodbye, everybody.